What's up guys, Yam Slow here. Today I'm about to put on my TBW skid plate because your boy is low and I scraped my whole original one off so might as well have to buy one, you know? So this is the skid plate right here. Got Joey lifting up the car from the front. Got an Acura logo too. Got the little oil pan. Opener. This isn't even the full piece. We got a front piece too to cover underneath the bumper. Whew. So yeah, like I said, I broke <laughs> the bottom one off completely. Like there's nothing left of this. So I'm also gonna be redoing my brake fluid. Like I'm gonna change it out completely. Um, sometimes when I brake, I change my rotors and my brake pads. Sometimes when I brake, it doesn't feel good. So I'm just gonna eliminate the fluid as a problem as well um got a got a whole bleeder kit like i made it myself thanks to chris fix <laughs> uh now i just got the car up on jack stands right here we're gonna go underneath as you can see right now This is bare, like nothing, it's all gone. Look at this part broke completely. That leaking that you guys see is from my AC. Um, there's still a lot more to do to this car. There's a lot coming. So I hope you guys are ready for these videos. They're about to start pouring in. So right here, Jordy's teaching me how to use the rivet nut tool, since I've never used it before. It's pretty straightforward. Just tighten the rivet nut on it, uh, apply pressure with both sides till the nut squeezes, and you just keep repeating the process until it reaches zero pounds of force. If you're wondering where I got the hardware to mount this kit, TBW provides everything but the rivet tool.
so while I was recording the GoPro had died and I had to record this part on my phone but this is the final product and man it looks so good so that's all for the video I hope you guys like share and subscribe comment any questions you have down below and I'll see you in the next one